So, this is uh, the second part of the complex. I do recommend you get the game for yourself. Because there's a lot of different endings, lots of choices to make. Busy. Yeah. It's a big sweep. Of course, this will have spoilers. And the biggest well part and the, well, the, the fun part of this is, is making those choices well. for yourself. Today we need Not all your field experience, Amy. Time to roll back the ears. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. You've got to be kidding. Your uh, choice, it's mate. been a while, Doctor Wakefield. You got here fast. Well, there weren't any blood vomiting ladies on my tube line. Reese Wakefield. Hug. Let's walk and talk. So, which legend fed the media the anthrax rumour? I need to take this. Was it her? So, do we have a name yet? Claire Mahek, she's one of us. Inside job. Now, she must be acting alone. Why else would she take the tube? Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... Look, if we consider the hysteria might actually be valid. Well, terrorism, I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look, I promise I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have... Stayed away? Yeah, I'm sure. Look. Why are you skydiving? Or bungee jumping, or whatever it is that you were up to? Because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, saw something I could help with. Plus, Kensington wants my expertise again. Well, she already has my expertise. I'm not disputing that, nor am I apologising for the skydiving. Guy's got to live. And if you could come back and let me know your decisions. The sets, okay, thank you. The sets really look great. Nice, clean. You didn't want to run this by me? Two lifesavers are better than one. Reese Wakefield is a deserter. I know he's let us down in the past, but people change. Emily did due diligence too. Come on. Yeah, come on. Hey, uh, guys, can I just, uh, have five minutes? Just, uh, just need to use the gents. Well, uh, Can we go, please? Let's follow that guy. He seems interesting. Now, I'm gonna use the toilet as well. There are toilets down there. The Amy! I gotta lose, lose the loop. <laughs> okay, sorry, I, I'm not gonna try to do British accents anymore. Thank you, sir. Gender fluid toilets, new policy. Okay, that was uh, something, <laughs> I was hoping something interesting might have Premier happened. Premier assistant stay in security lab alpha. You should see the other guy. What was security lab in alpha. The, in the, in the door Nan, is this my tech? Yes. But how? I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. Emily and I will get to the bottom of that. You just get the nanocells, otherwise our life's work's gone. All of the nanocells are inside of her? It, it was a master batch. No duplicates were made. Good luck. Look, 
God, you guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits? You'll see. All right. Better change in facilities than in the Congo, eh? Yeah. And Kinder. Nah, that's not the creepy. into space. This reminds me a lot of Echo. that old movie. This vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes and, from escaping the lab. Three. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do some physical... ...barriers. How long have you worked here again? Four years last Wednesday. Yeah, it's been that long. You should definitely check just think out about some of the stuff we saw. Yeah, I saw a whole other year's three. worth after you the left. The original one. No, it wasn't just not skydiving. The, not no, the remake. The reset. Try new things. Learn anything that could help us today? Oh no. Yeah, Yandom Andromeda Strain. It's definitely an inspiration for this. Looks a lot like it. I was uh, Michael Crichton. First book, the guy from Jurassic Park and Westworld. So the meditation's new. So is the spying. Touche. Vacuum conditions inactive. Dr. Thomas Malkin, Dr. Everly North. This is Dr. Reese Wakefield. He'll be assisting us today. Cool pony cell. Let me take you to her. <laughs> I like that you mentioned. It feels like we're at the center of those dolls that go inside each other. My Turkish dolls. <laughs> On that ponytail. Yeah. yeah. Ponytail that Russian. Not cool. Aren't they? <laughs> so, what's your story then, Malkin? Unless you're a girl. I wanted to assist Dr. Tennant since I saw a talk at the plane summit about the extracellular matrix and lattice in stem cells. Not if you're a bowling 40 year old dude. Holy shit! It's attacking the bone structure. We've never seen anything like it. Well, I have a sample of her blood under the microscope. That dude is not pulling off that hair. Guys, this is my tech. The nanocells are inside her. But they're unfinished. There's no off switch, so they're just coursing through her body, producing excess bone and blood. But how could she have contracted them? From a spillage, maybe. They barely survive for two minutes once they're exposed to air, and she didn't have the authorization to access them. Someone's put them in her. No, 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 leave it in, Claire. You need it. Mm, feels fucking weird. You a terrorist? Subtle. I'd be a terrible one if I was. I did this for Nina. 
What's Nina? Terrorist organization. Oh, you stop that, please. Look, how many times have we seen a lone wolf release pathogens into the air? Nanosols aren't airborne. They can only be transferred via blood to blood contact. Answer call. Bioterrorism suspect named as Claire Mahek, a Kendarian intern at Kensington. TV off. Tell me you can retrieve our nanocells. Not directly. We'd need to extract a large blood sample to keep them active. From there, I'll use that as a roadmap to recreate the master batch. Seems simple enough. She has plenty of blood to spare. Not exactly. Her new bone matter is consuming her body's resources at an accelerated rate. If I remove that much blood in one go, she'll die. And if she dies before you extract her blood? Without a living host, the nanocells will just dissipate. Au revoir, nanocells. So either way, she dies. Okay. Amy, we're going to have to go for the option where we retain our asset. Natalie, I can't just... I'll get back to you. End call. What should we do, Doctor? Set up for a full blood diagnostic. There has to be a way to get the nanocells out of her safely. Dr. Wakefield, please replace her IV. I can't risk any outside contamination. Sure thing. Dr. Tennant. Shouldn't... Oh, it's, it's very... Need to replace this, OK? Don't bite me. He does not like her. Whoa! <laughs> Shit, sorry. It's a little rusty. Come in. And done. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, something's up with that guy. First the toilet thing, now he's acting strangely. He's probably on drugs or something. Who delivered this crate? Oh, it was here, we arrived this morning. Well, it's in the way, it needs to be moved. Oh, uh, let's pick this one. Don't worry about that. That's what we're here for. Thank you, Dr. North. I haven't seen her much of anything, so... Oh, oh my god! Okay. Oh. That was a bad Dr. thing. <laughs> Gone. Okay, she's not gone. Okay. No she has well wasn't much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but ponytail guy is still alive, isn't he? He just knew there was something off about Malkin. He just what got kind of a scientist has a fucking ponytail? Yeah, my point exactly. <sighs> oh, thank you. You're fine. Oh, oh, oh. Is Claire all right? I'm currently the safest person in this room. Good enough for me. Why are we in lockdown mode? It's detecting the poison from the acid bomb. 
It won't be in the air for much longer. Thanks for that. So, they're Call on. Natalie Kensington. And that concludes our episode for today. Uh, that was a... Uh, yeah, I should have seen that coming. That ponytail... Ponytail motherfucker. Don't trust a guy with a ponytail. Okay, maybe uh, if he's a young guy and if you're, s if you're uh, fucking Zlatan or Beckham, maybe, maybe you can pull it off. But if you're a balling dude, yeah, and you have a man bun, ponytail, yeah. Uh, yeah, the game the game got me. Uh, I was uh, suspicious of that Reese guy because he was being strange in the toilet, and then he kind of was acting nervous when he had to draw the the blood from the the lady. So. Yeah, kind of threw me off there. In hindsight, should have seen it upcoming. I guess the moral of today's episode is don't trust guys with ponytails, especially not when they're balding. See you next time, fellas.